everyone, and welcome to our early morning Eucharist here at Clonner Monastery in Belfast. Our presider this morning is Father Kevin Bryan. Our minister of the word is Gemma. Our Eucharistic ministers are Sean and Paul. And our altar servers are Alan and Ashley, Soben and Leon. So if you'd like to stand and join me in a verse of the chant, Open our eyes, Lord, we want to see Jesus. Open our eyes, Lord, we want to see Jesus, to reach out and touch him, and say that we love him. Open our ears, Lord, and help us to listen. Open our eyes, Lord, we want to see Jesus. Good morning and welcome as we gather for our Mass. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. We come before God, aware of our sinfulness. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, the spirit with which you fill the Bishop St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world. He who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. If our life in Christ means anything to you, if love can persuade at all, or the spirit that we have in common, or any tenderness and sympathy, then be united in your convictions and united in your love with a common purpose and a common mind. That is the one thing that would make me completely happy. There must be no competition among you, no conceit, but everybody is to be self-effacing. Always consider the other person to be better than yourself so that nobody thinks of his or her own interests first but everybody thinks of other people's interests instead. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. In peace before you. O Lord, my heart is not proud nor haughty my eyes. I have not gone after things too great nor marvels beyond me. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. <clears throat> Truly, I have set my soul in silence and peace. A weaned child on its mother's breast, even so is my soul. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. <clears throat> o Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Open my eyes, O Lord that I may consider the wonders of your law. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his host, one of the leading Pharisees, when you give a lunch or a dinner, do not ask your friends, brothers, relations, or rich neighbors, for fear they repay your courtesy by inviting you in return. No, 
When you have a party, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. That they cannot pay you back means that you are fortunate because repayment will be made to you when the virtuous rise again. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just a few lines. One little piece about Charles Borromeo. was born in 1538 and died in 1584, which according to my sums means that he was 46 when he died. 46 would be a young age nowadays, but at that time, not so young because life wasn't as long. He was Cardinal Archbishop of Milan at the age of 21, worked for reform in his diocese, drafting the Catechism of the Council of Trent, his patron saint of catechists and seminarians, the mention of the Council of Trent Catechism reminded me that the Penny Catechism, as it was known afterwards, would have been based on that Council of Trent one. So Charles Borromeo, an example of a saint to us. And one of the things about saints was saints have a respect for every person. No one is beyond them. They have that kind of respect and it comes from the fact not of what they have or what they haven't, but comes from the fact that they are children of God. All of us are children of God and due the respect that should be given to such. Again, you see the first reading, saints were people who encouraged others to goodness. Just by their own lives and by their attitude to them, they invited them to live out their lives as children of God also. Sometimes I think, what does God think about the world and all the troubles that mankind has created within it? I have no doubt again that he accepts us and loves us all, even when we're not behaving as children of God, but he continues to hope that we will. It's like parents looking at their children fighting with each other. And it brings a sadness, as opposed to the gladness it can bring when parents see their children helping one another, not having to be asked to do so. So it's just good for us to have that picture of other people as children of God and to respect them as such. We continue to pray for all parts of the world where there is war and trouble. And we pray where there is natural disasters as well. Again, where people are suffering, we pray with them and ask the Lord to show his compassion even more. These prayers and our own prayers, we join with the prayer of our Mass and offer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the chant, The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. <clears throat> the Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. My sisters and brothers, let's pray that the sacrifice we are making will be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. <coughs> May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
Lord, look upon the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Charles and grant by the power of this sacrifice that as you made him an attentive pastor, outstanding in the merit of his virtues, so you may make us abound in good fruit by our works. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, with all your priests and people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it's through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Aware of ourselves as being children of God, we pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May that peace, the peace of the Lord, be with you this day. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other some sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, <clears throat> you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. We are conscious that we are one community with you who are joining us in line from wherever you may be throughout the city and the world. So gathered by Christ's love, even though you cannot receive Christ sacramentally, we unite ourselves with each other by praying together the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Ubi caritas et amor. Ubi caritas Deus ibi est. Ubi caritas et amor. Ubi caritas Deus ibi est. Ubi caritas et amor. Ubi caritas 
Deus e Biest. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. <clears throat> Lord, may the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken give us that determination which made St. Charles faithful in ministry and fervent in charity. Our prayer we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, Father the Son, Son of the and Holy, Spirit. Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, strengthened by the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. And thank you. Please join me in the chant, Sweep Over My Soul. Sweep over my soul. Sweep over my soul. Sweet Spirit, sweep over my soul. My rest is complete when I sit at your feet. Sweet Spirit, sweep over my soul. Thank you very much for joining us in this Eucharist. We continue to pray for one another. And we say goodbye to those who are joining us online by sending me in the clannered wave.